prompted allegations of misappropriation of funds and tax evasion and res resulted in the resignation of Barca President Sandra Rossell. The president of the GAA has criticised RTE for what he described as unbalanced coverage of its broadcasting deal announced yesterday. For the first time, some championship games will only be available on pay-to-view television under a deal between Croke Park and Sky TV. The GA Museum in Croke Park was the venue today for the induction of four more players into the Hall of Fame for 2014. Former greats like Kerry's legendary Mick O'Dwyer were honoured, but the news agenda was dominated by yesterday's announcement of the GA's TV deals, whereby Sky TV will broadcast 20 matches from this year's championships, 14 of them exclusively. Speaking to the print media, the GA president, Liam O'Neill, attacked RTE's news and current affairs coverage of the deals yesterday across all platforms. He said, Ortiz's performance last night was shocking and imbalanced. He also said that the criticism referred to all of Ortiz's coverage on all platforms. But he was particularly critical of primetime, what he called aggressive interviewing and also the makeup of the audience. No one from the GA was available to comment to RTE today, but the head of RTE Current Affairs, David Nally, rejected the criticism. I'm very surprised by Liam O'Neill's comments, I must say. We're very satisfied that the coverage of this issue yesterday on RTE was fair and impartial and that the GAA got a very fair shake. If you take prime time for an example, uh, for instance last night, I think nine people spoke in studio on this subject. Five of them spoke in favour of the GAA and the Sky Deal, three against and one was neutral. So how that can be singled out as an example of a programme that was biased against the GAA, I find that hard to understand. And what about the accusation that the interviewing style in prime time was aggressive? It's the job of an RTE Current Affairs presenter when inter interviewing somebody one-on-one -on -one, to ask hard questions, the questions that the audience would like asked. And that's an opportunity for the interviewee to answer those questions and get their message across to the audience. So it, that should not be misunderstood as some kind of bias against the person who's being interviewed. And I think the viewers at home do understand that. TV deals, which will also see RTE broadcast 31 live championship matches, come into effect at the start of this year's championships. Marty Morrissey, RTE News. Well,